Alrighty. Hello. Um, we got just a couple minutes to go till 5.30. Just waiting for some people to hop on here. And I'm gonna get my setup right. I tested this already, but you know, it doesn't hurt to <laughs> double check things. Alrighty. Got some people in here. Let me post my uh, um, uh, playlist. That's the word I'm looking for. Let me see here. Hmm. Oopsies. Are we still here? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I am technologically challenged at the moment. I don't know how to post my playlist. Um, but you can just go find it on Spotify. My name is Gabe dot Patton, P A T T E N, um, and my playlist. I mean, you can grab any one that's called Bar. That's fine. Um, I was gonna use the one called Bar So Hard. Um, anyway, if you're in here, hey guys, holding up. How you doing? Working out at home? Is it going okay? This is really weird, just talking to a phone, pretending like you guys are answering though. Um, feel free to like drop a little chat down there. Be like, hey, I can hear you. I'm doing great. That'd be cool. Um, but... Do do. Oh, there we go. Hey, Emily. She's here. Alrighty. Well, it is 5:30, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, but we're doing bar today. My name's Gabe. Um, and for class, all you need is yourself, a mat. You don't even really need a mat though. Now that I think about it. Um, and a wall. So if you're not near the wall right now, take a moment, grab your stuff. Let's go post up next to a wall um, because we've got a lot of fun things to do at the wall today. But if you don't have a wall available, that's cool too. You can um, do all this stuff without the wall. You'll be just fine. So with that, let's go ahead and just get started on your backs. Hello everyone. So excited that you guys are all here. Um, but start on your back and just take a moment here to arrive. Arrive on your mat, arrive in this space. Take a couple breaths. I know that a lot of what I've been seeing on the internet and stuff right now has been a lot of gratitude checks. And that's something that I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've needed a lot of recently, a lot of gratitude checks. So take a moment just to see how you're feeling today and let that all go to so just be here on your mat right now in this moment, this moment that we have to be together, even if it's virtually, it's better than nothing to breathe, to sweat, but let, let some stuff out. So take a deep breath in. Then pull your right knee into your chest, find half happy baby. Capture the outside of your foot, your ankle, your calf, your knee. Pull your foot and knee down toward the ground at the same time, press your foot up toward the ceiling. I like to take a little bit of movement at the beginning of class, maybe you bend and straighten through your leg. You can send your leg across your body, more like a reclined half pigeon, um, or even out to the side, bend and straighten, whatever feels nice after your long day of maybe being very active or maybe doing a lot of nothing. Mine was a lot of nothing. So it feels good to get a little bit of movement here. Stay for your breath in and exhale, supine twist. Send your leg across your body. Stack your right hip on top of your left-ish if that feels good. If that doesn't feel great for you today, that is fine. You can 
not stuck, no big deal. Allow your right shoulder to rest down on your mat. And breathe. With each inhale, find some length in your spine. With each exhale, maybe you allow yourself to sink deeper into the pose, but this is the beginning of class. There's no need to go super deep or to force it. Just to invite a little bit of movement. Stay for a breath out. Inhale your knees back to center. Half happy baby pose on the other side. Capture the outside of your left foot, ankle, calf, the back of your knee even. Whatever feels right for you right here. I like to take, again, a lot of movement. You can circle out through your ankle, bend and straighten your knee, open up to the side, or send your leg kind of across your body. Wherever you feel stiffness, tightness, sensation, wherever it feels nice to get a little bit of movement, that's exactly where you should be. Take a breath in. Exhale, supine twist. Send your leg across your body, stay here and breathe. So it's okay if your leg doesn't go all the way over, if your foot doesn't touch the ground, if your knee doesn't touch the ground, that's fine. If they do, that's fine too. It's really no big deal either way. Um, today in this class, I'm gonna be giving you guys a lot of options and a lot of modifications. And here online, virtually, I unfortunately can't see you. So it's super on you to feel your body and to be aware of what's happening in your body so that you can make good choices for what feels good for you in that moment. So stay here for one more exhale. Inhale your legs back to center, legs up the wall. We'll get started here with a little bit of core already, I know. Inhale, slowly lower your left foot down towards your thumb. Exhale, lift, single leg lifts. Inhale, lower your right leg. Exhale, lift. Just like that, off on your own. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. One of the big things to think about right here is your low back. If you start to feel your low back lift off the mat, that's right in here. If I could stick my hand underneath your low back, then maybe you went a little too far. You can decrease the range of motion in your leg lifts. They don't have to go very far for you to feel things. It doesn't have to be a huge movement. It just has to be what feels good for you. I like to flex my toes because I'm a big like toe flexor. That's how I feel a lot of engagement in my legs. Maybe you like to point your toes. I'm also worried if I point my toes, I'm gonna hit my counter. I have a lot less space in this little area than I thought I did. But you know, it'll work. It's gonna be fine. Sometimes it's even fun to point your toes on the way down and flex your toes on the way up. Ooh, whatever gets your legs engaged. Now about right here, is where I start to feel kind of tense in my shoulders and across my chest and my face and my neck. So if you're starting to get a little tension there, relax, smile at your beautiful ceiling. <laughs> Ooh, really nothing exciting to see up there, but you can imagine, we can pretend. Exhale as you lift, continue to find your breath here. Big inhale to lower, big exhale to lift. You got about four more. Last three, two, and one. Set up for sit-ups. Bring your heels into your glutes. You can start with your hands behind your ears. Inhale, glue your low back to the mat. Exhale, lift, punch, punch, jabs. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, jab, jab. Inhale, down, lift, jab, jab. Okay, so fun fact about me. You keep this going. You keep doing sit-ups. I'm going to talk to you for a bit so that I don't run out of breath and also to distract you from this really fun ab work. So fun fact about me, I used to teach boxing classes, not contact boxing, but you know, like fitness boxing classes. So boxing, shadow boxing without a bag is actually something that boxers do a lot. It's a really good workout because it helps you get that strength to punch forward, but more importantly, to pull back. So I want you to think not only about your jab out, but also the big snap back, because that's where a lot of the power in this movement comes from, from the fast snap back, not so much the punch out. So punch out, hit something, snap back, pull it back in, and that's how we'll get strong arms here with no props at all, we don't need them. You keep going with your punches, you got it. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, 
jab, jab. Whew. Hope you guys are feeling your core by now. We still got four left. Inhale, lower. Exhale, jab, jab. You can even think about a big breath out of your mouth every time you punch. Inhale down, exhale. Maybe you guys can even hear me breathing. Because that's how much power you get behind your punches. You got five more just like this. Stay with it. Last four. Ooh. Last three. Last two. And one. Stay at the top. Find boat pose. I like to have boat pose with my heels on the mat. Grow tall through your spine. Lean back till you feel a shaky spot in your core. Whew. Stay here and breathe here. Now let's talk ballet. After we just talked about boxing, we got some ballet to do. So with your arms right out in front of you, find first position arms here in your boat pose. First position arms look like this except just up a little bit higher. Imagine that you're giving someone like a big hug or you're holding a big beach ball out in front of you. That's your first position arms, right where you want to be. Let's add a high low boat. So on your inhale, lower to low boat, first position arms. Exhale, high boat, fifth position arms. Keep the same round shape with your arms like you've got a ball overhead. Pull your shoulder blades together and down. Breath to movement. Inhale, lower. First position arms. Exhale, lift. Fifth position arms. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Nice job. You're off on your own here with that movement. You can bring your feet up off the mat. Find a little hover here if you need a little more. If this is too much, ditch the arms and use your hands down by your side. That looks like this. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. It'll give you a little bit of support there when you have your hands down. But remember, on these online classes, this is all about keeping yourself accountable. So try a couple of the hard version. Use your arms, do as many as you can. Get to fatigue, get to the spot where you can't do another one like that. Then bring your hands down and keep going because you can, because it's a little easier. You got this. Stay with it, stay with your breath. Last five. Last four. Hold at the top in three, two. Hands to heart center, boat with a twist. Exhale right, center, left, center. To the right, center, to the left, center. Now here, with your arms, you keep those twists going. I want you to keep your thumbs touching your sternum touching your breastbone so that when you twist, you have to twist your whole torso instead of just moving your arms. It's really easy to move your arms like this, but you're not getting the oblique work there. So you wanna feel this in your abs, in your obliques. Every time you twist, move your whole torso rather than just your arms. That's how you'll feel it a little more. Whew. We're all about working smart. Not hard. I just realized that my fireplace is on and it's hot in here. Kind of feels like power life. It's good stuff. Last five. Last four. Last three. Two. And one. Rock and roll back into your boat. Stand up into mountain pose. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. Let's do that a couple more times. Rock and roll back. Stand up. Mountain. Rock and roll, stand up, mountain pose. If that's too much, if the rock and roll is not your jam, you got squats, that's okay. Inhale, sink, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, mountain pose. Whew, keep going, find a big rock and roll. Let that give you momentum to launch up into your standing, into mountain pose. Continue to breathe here, you got this. You're doing so good, I know you are. Whew, rock and roll launch up, rock and roll, launch up, ground through your heels, drive your feet down into the mat to get the energy, the momentum, the power to stand up. Use your quads, use your glutes, then do it again. You got this. I'll meet you in mountain pose in five, four, last three, two, inhale mountain pose, stay here and breathe. In your mountain pose today, I would love for you to find fifth position arms. 
You can see those right here. Got a lot of ballet arms coming your waist. You can practice them now. Pull your shoulder blades together and down your back so that you can feel this in your back muscles, especially through your ribs right here underneath your armpit and your serratus anterior. Pull your shoulder blades down. Then pull your belly in. Notice if you've got a big booty stick out and tuck under just a little bit to feel your core. You might still have a big booty sticking out. It's okay, me too, we got booties. Stay here for an inhale. Exhale, mini back bend, cactus your arms. Find space across your chest. Stay strong through the entire front side of your body. Make this back bend mini, small. Exhale, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, high plank, stay here and breathe. Stack your shoulders on top of your wrists. Stack your heels on the balls of your feet. Tuck your tailbone under just a little bit, just like you did in mountain pose. You've always got the option, again, to take this from your knees. That's a great choice. Take what you need. We'll add some movement in three, two, and one. Twist hops, hop your feet out to the right, back to plank, out to the left, back to plank. Right, ooh, my mat's slippery plank. Left, plank. If the hopping is not for you today, if you don't wanna do it, cross under your body, opposite knee to opposite elbow. This is our first little burst of cardio. Time to get after it. Get your heart moving and pumping. Take this faster so you can feel your heart rate like lift way up. You guys got this. We're in this together. There are 14, 15 people in here. So think about that in a class. This would fill up a bar studio right now, what you're doing. So imagine that you're actually in a bar studio with all these awesome people that are here right now. They're doing it, you can do it, we're in it together. You got this, stay with it. Last five, Woo. last four, last three, two, and one. Inhale, high plank, exhale, lower down to your belly, fifth position, arms overhead. Exhale, Superman. Lift up your chest, lift up your head, inhale, lower. Exhale, Superman, inhale, lower. Off on your own with your breath. Lift and lower with your fifth position arms. Lift your chest up, find an arch in your back. Use the strength of your back to help you lift. Whoo, y'all, I'm hardly even doing this and I can't breathe because I'm nervous, I think. I think I'm a little nervous. That's my vulnerability for you right now. It's a little weird but we can do this. Stay with it in your Superman. Last five, Whew. last four, switch it up in three, two, hold your Superman high, fifth position arms on your inhale, second position arms on your exhale, second position arms are arms out to the side. Imagine that you're going in for a super big hug with someone. Now take it back and forth, second, fifth, exhale, second, inhale, fifth. All from your Superman right here. I'm just doing it higher so that you can see me. Pull your shoulder blades together every time you move. Think about what this looks like from the back. Inhale, reach overhead. Exhale, pull down. Squeeze, squeeze together. Use your back muscles to feel that. You got this. Last five. Whew. Last four. Last three. Two. Exhale. Inhale, press up to high plank. Walk your feet back so that your feet are touching the wall behind you. Come to your knees for push-ups from your knees, but all the way up to kneeling. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push up to kneeling. Inhale, lower as slow as you can, all the way down. Then use the power to thrust up and pull your hips to stack on top of your knees. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Woo. With your feet on the wall here, you can use your backside body to kind of pull you up into the kneeling position. Shoulders stack on top of your knees. Use your entire back body to get you there. Think about keeping your shoulders stacked on top of your hips, stacked on top of your knees through that whole movement. It's really challenging. Your hips will probably bend. I know that mine do, but the more you think about keeping everything straight, on your way up, the more you'll feel it in your hamstrings. It's kind of a sneaky back body exercise. So stay with me there. Do as many of those as you can. If it starts to get to be too much, then take it down. Just do push-ups. 
Just do push-ups from your knees. That's a great place to be. You don't have to do the whole lift up to kneeling for this whole time. We've been here for a bit. Last five. Last four. Ooh. Last three. Two. Inhale. High plank. Lift your knees. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Stay here and breathe for a moment. Pedal out through your heels. Bend and straighten your knees. Take a moment to get your breath if you need to. That was a big movement, even though it wasn't jumping. Big movements like that are still cardio, so you'll start to feel it in your heart. Let's take it into down dog push-ups. Inhale, bend your elbows. Exhale, press up. Inhale, lower your head down toward the mat. Exhale, press up. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Whew. You're off on your own. You keep that going. So these down dog push-ups, even though they're called push-ups, they're like a shoulder press overhead. It's the same kind of movement as a shoulder press, a movement that you've done a lot of times, I'm sure. So think about that. You've got your shoulders stacked up, then press into your mat to press away. If you need less, find less space between your feet and hands, bring your feet nice and wide, that'll be a little bit less. You can even take these from your knees to take it down another notch. If you need more out of your down dog push-ups, find more space between your feet. You can even take your feet onto the wall and do them from there. I'm gonna tell you, I don't need more, so I'm not gonna show you that. <laughs> but if you're still not really feeling this, maybe you try it out. Bring your feet up onto the wall, or you can think about bringing your head all the way down to tap your mat. Maybe you need a little more range of motion out of this to really feel it. Continue to press into your entire hand. The L shape in your hand will be really helpful to take weight out of your wrists. Last five. Whew, stay with it. Last four. Last three. Two. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. And let it go. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, travel forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, slowly roll up. Come so that your back is to the wall. We got a little bit of setup here. You want your feet so that you're about halfway up your mat, maybe a little less, but so you got enough space that you like can't touch the wall behind you. Now, lift up your left foot and place it on the wall behind you sink into a split squat stance. Right about here is where you wanna be. If you need a little more space, you can take some time to adjust, see how you feel comfortable, but sink your weight back so that you've got weight in your foot on the wall. Like if that wasn't there, you'd fall backwards. Now bend and straighten your front leg. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, sink your hips back behind you, then down and lift up. Again, modification. If you're not feeling that foot on the wall, just take a lunge. Bring your foot down onto the mat. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Whew. Nice job. So every time you go down, bend your front leg and then press into your front heel to straighten your leg. Imagine that you could press your mat down into the ground every time you straighten your leg. So instead of just a straighten, it's a drive down, but there's nowhere else for your foot to go, so your leg just straightens, it just has to. Stay with this. Press your hands together at heart center to feel your chest start to light up, or if you want a little more out of this, bring your hands out in front of you, first position arms. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. Woo. I wanna hear a woo at home. If you can feel your right booty, Starting to fire up here. Oh, I think I heard it all the way here in Waukee from wherever you are. Stay with this, you guys. Last five, four, last three, two. Hold low, hold a bent stance in your front leg. Now sink your weight back into your back leg. Bend your back knee and press away. Inhale, sink back. Exhale, press up. Inhale, sink back. Exhale, press up. This doesn't have to be a big movement here. It can be pretty small. You don't have to do a lot to really start to feel that. 
in your back leg, but also in your front leg since it's still bent. I know, you guys just started to straighten your right leg. <laughs> Bend your right leg. Stay in this. You got it. Sink a little lower. Yeah, maybe one inch lower. I know you can. Stay with this. Bend, bring your glutes back towards your heel. Sink back, press up. Sink back, press up. Ooh, I can bend my right leg a little more too. We're in this together. Bend it, press forward. Last five, last four, three, two, hold this position, fire hydrate your back leg. Inhale down, exhale, lift your leg to the side. Inhale lower, exhale, lift it out to the side. It's like you're squishing a bug on the wall with your foot. It's just a tiny pivot there. From the front, it looks like this. So you can kind of see how my leg goes out to the side should really start to feel that in your booty. In fact, bring your hand right here onto your glutes so that every time you lift up, you can feel your booty engage. Right there, yes. Continue to squish your butt right into the wall. Give it up. Last five. Four. Last three. Two, hold this position, one last thing. Exhale, releve onto your front toes. Inhale, lower. Exhale, releve. Inhale, lower. Lift all the way up onto your tippy toes on your front foot. Inhale, lower. Only here for five. Whew. Four. Last three. Two. Fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. Shake out your legs. Woo! It should feel good to get a little shake out after all that. Let everything hang out. Shake around. Get a little movement. Woo! You got your back to the wall right now. Take a quarter turn. Other way, bring your feet in and out. Get your arms into it, bend your knees so that you sink a little bit lower here. Yeah, sink a little bit lower, you got it. Move your arms, move your arms. Five, Woo. Turn toward the wall in four, three, two. Turn toward the wall, push us out the wall. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press straight back into a squat. Inhale, lower to the bottom of your push up. Exhale, Woo. a little far, you slow it back into your squat. Lower to a push up, explode back into your squat. Whew. Maybe you need a second to figure out your foot distance. Like me, it's all good. Lower down, straight into a squat. Push up to a squat. Inhale, push up. Exhale, press away into your squat. You got this. I know you guys are doing so good. I can feel it through the camera. I can feel your strength. Stay with this. Inhale to lower, chest toward the wall. Exhale, explode away. Get lower in your squat every single time. Yeah, even lower. Yes, you can. You guys are strong enough to do this. In fact, you got here to do bar at home. That's pretty crazy. I think bar is one of the hardest classes to do alone. So you are killing it just by being here. Now stay with it. Got five. Hold your squat in four. Last three, two. Hold your squat, 180 squat jumps, touch down. 180 to the other side. Whew. Just like that. If this is too much, if you don't wanna do the whole spin, it's a tap, lift up. Tap, lift up. Maybe it's just a reach down, lift up. If you wanna add a little more, reach down, lift up onto your toes. Reach down, up onto your toes. Woo, you got this. Nice job. Can you get a little bit of air in your 180 jump? Get a little bit higher, a little bit higher than that. There you go. Now for these next few, sink a little bit lower. Instead of thinking about touching the ground, can you sink your hips lower? Your hips down toward the ground instead of just your chest. Keep your chest lifted. Find space across it. Last five. Stay facing the wall in four. Last three, two, stay facing the wall. This time we got forearm plank at the wall, forearm plank. Bring your forearms to parallel. Spread your fingers out, inhale, stay. Exhale, press up to plank. Inhale, forearm plank. Exhale, plank. This will get your triceps pretty quick. It's a lot less on your triceps if you're closer to the wall. So it's less 
if you're close. So if right about now you're still not really feeling this, bring your feet further back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press. If you still need more, bring your feet further back. If you still need more, take this onto the ground. You can do it on the ground. I want your forearms to be parallel. Then to lift your elbows, press into your hands. Lift your elbows at the same time. So instead of one and then the other, can you press down firmly through both hands so much that your elbows start to lift? You can, I know you can. If your body is feeling kind of heavy right now, engage your quads, engage your core. All of that will help you feel lighter. Whew. Not four more. Squeeze your triceps at the top. Lower your elbows down to a hover. Squeeze at the top. Last three. Woo. Last two. And one. Awesome job. Step out into second position. Plie. Heels in. Toes out. Find lots of space here between your heels. Press your knees out towards your toes. Now you've got second position arms. Instead of your arms being down here, lift your elbows up to shoulder height like you're gonna give someone the biggest bear hug. Sink an inch lower on your inhale. Exhale, first position, first position arms. Press your hands together in first position, your fingers together to feel your chest. Heels touch, heels in, toes out, same as second. Inhale, second plie. Exhale, first to the other side. Inhale, second plie. Exhale, first. Side to side. Woo. Sink low in second. This is kind of a nice thing because just for a second there, in second position, you have both of your feet on the mat doing the same thing. That should feel good after that one foot on the wall experience that we just had. Now, don't suck on your arms here. Your arms are still working. Press your hands together in first position. You should feel that in your pecs right in here. Then every time you come into second position, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Press, squeeze, press, squeeze. Last side. Woo. Four. Hold first in three, two. First at the wall, left side. Inhale, curtsy lunge. Exhale, oh, I just lost my balance. Passe, stay here and breathe in passe. Bring your toes so that they're just tapping the inside of your leg. Now rotate your leg externally so the inside of your leg comes up toward the ceiling and your quad goes back toward the wall behind you. Fifth position, arms overhead. Are you ready? Let's take a breath to movement. Inhale, first position arms, curtsy lunge. Exhale, fifth, passe. Inhale, curtsy. Exhale, passe. Inhale, curtsy. Exhale, passe. If the arms are too much, bring your arms to heart center. Whew, we've done a lot of arm work already. Sneaky arm work at the beginning. Lots of plank, lots of push-ups already. So take what you need out of this. Every time you lift into passe, Press your quad so that it's up toward the ceiling. It's so easy to come into this position. I want you to press your leg out, but keep your hips facing forward so that every time you're in passe, you can kind of feel it right in here in your glute. Squeeze it, press your knee out wider. Every time you're in curtsy, sink a little lower, bring your knee, your back knee, all the way down toward your mat. Whew. Last five. Just like this for four more. Stay in it for three. Hold passe in two. And one, hold passe, passe kicks with a tricep kick out. Inhale, everything bends. Exhale, kick out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, kick out. Bend, kick out. So right here in your passe, this is where it gets really easy to just do like a little side kick. Instead, kick from this passe position so that none of this moves. It's just a hinge around your knee. It's so much harder. I know it's harder, but I also know that you're strong. I know that you're capable. You can do more of these than you think you can. Whenever I get into passe kicks, I'm like, okay, I do three. That seems like enough. But right about now, you've done like 15, which is way more than you thought you could. Stay in it. 
Straighten, squeeze your tricep. Inhale, bend. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, bend. Exhale, squeeze. Right in here. Last five. Hold out to the side in four, three, two. Hold out to the side, little circles forward, 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 forward. When I say little circle, I mean little circle. Circle like you're circling around a quarter, which is smaller than this little okay sign that I'm making. Like you could send your heel around a tiny, tiny quarter. That helps you take the momentum out of this movement so that you find the strength in the small movement. With your arm, it's the same thing, around a quarter. I want you to feel it right there in your serratus and anterior, underneath your armpit, your back muscles, your lats, they're working in this. Last five, four, three, two, passe, arms overhead. Inhale, curtsy lunge, we're back to it. Exhale, passe, oh no, second set. Ooh, we got this, stay with it. You've done this before. You can do it again. Sink lower in your curtsy lunge now. I know your legs are starting to get tired. This is where fatigue starts to set in. But luckily, this is a new leg. It's like mostly your left leg, which is new because we started on right side on the wall. So it could be worse, right? That's my silver lining right now. Stay with me. Last five. Last four. Three, two. Hold your curtsy lunge, lat pulls. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Reach long, pull in. Reach, pull. So right here, imagine that you're on a pane of glass or in a toaster. Extend your arms out to the side. Pull your elbows like they could kiss behind your back. They're so close. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull. Let's add the lunge. Inhale, reach, exhale, stand and pull. Inhale, reach, exhale, stand and pull. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull in. Woo! We got this. So here, I'm gonna do it from the side again so you can really see. So instead of my arms being out in front of me, you rotate through your shoulders so your arms are in line. Just like the toaster we already talked about, you don't wanna singe your fingers, they come back. Then squeeze your shoulder blades together. This is one of my favorite exercises to do without weights because you can really use the weight of your body and the control of your muscles to feel this. The more you squeeze in, the more you'll feel it. I've been super sore from doing these without weights multiple times. You can be too. Let's do it. Last five. Hold it low in four, three, two. Hold it low and pulse, 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 pulse. Pulse for your arms, it's just a squeeze and release. So it's squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze your elbows back like they could kiss on your back. They want to kiss. Your elbows are in love. Bring them together. Last five. Woo. Last four. Three, two, and one. Inhale, sink low. Exhale, second position, plie, second position arms. Let's do this again. Sink lower. Exhale, first. Inhale, second. Exhale, first. Second, first. Second, first. You've been here before. We can do this again. Use this as a moment to come back to your breath. Slow down. Take a big step out to second, sink lower. Big exhale as you stand up to first. Inhale, second. Exhale, first. Squeeze. Whew. Every time you step into first position, Imagine that you've got a zipper between your legs and you zip up, squeeze your inner thighs in together so you can get a little bit of that inner thigh movement happening here. Last five, last four, three, two. This time land in first position on the right side. We're gonna do it all again. Inhale, curtsy, sink low. Exhale, passe, arms overhead, breathe here. Breathe in your passe the first time so you can set it up really good. Rotate your thigh up, tap your toes. It's a lot like tree pose in yoga, except you don't have your foot pressing into your leg. It's just a gentle tap. Exhale, stay. Inhale, curtsy. Exhale, passe. Inhale, curtsy. Exhale, passe. This is a little bit of a balance challenge. So keep this movement going. While you do, 
Find a spot in the room that's not moving. Find something that's super still and steady. So don't look at me. I'm not doing this anyway. You're doing it. Find a spot in the room. Stare there. When that spot is still, balanced, stable, it helps you feel that way in your body too. Still, balanced, stable. Take a couple more of these. Make them your best yet. Sink a little bit lower in your curtsy. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips the entire time. In your curtsy lunge, it's so easy to hinge forward. Instead, lower straight down, straight up. You got it, just like that. Last five. Pull pass A in four, three, two, and one. Passe kicks with a tricep kick out. Bend your elbow, bend your knee. Exhale, kick. Inhale, bend. Exhale, kick. Inhale, bend. Exhale, kick. You got this. As you kick, check in with your hips. I'm gonna walk closer so you can see mine. Every time you kick, your hips, they don't move. Your knee doesn't move. It's just your foot, your ankle, your shin that moves and straightens there. So when you kick, instead of opening up and finding a big movement here, stay super stable there. Think about it as like, you know that like silly dance move that like doesn't actually go like that, but kind of goes like that? That's what you're trying to do right here. Last five, four, three, two, hold to the side, circle forward. Circle, 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 circle. Again, it's a balance challenge. I know, it's meant to be. The bar is really nice to have in class because it helps you feel a little more stable, but sometimes it's a little bit of a crutch. We grab onto it really tight so we don't fall. Today, you learn that you are strong enough and you have enough balance without it. You don't need it. It's nice when it's there, super nice, I know, but you can do it without it too. Stay in this last five. Four, three, two, passe, arms overhead. Inhale, curtsy, exhale, passe. Ooh, we get to do it again. Yes, nice job. Don't sleep on your arms right now. Your arms go from first position to fifth. Every time, imagine that you're moving through a substance thicker than air, whatever that is for you. I like to think about pudding because I love food but maybe for you it makes more sense just to think about water or mud. I like to think about pudding or jello. Nothing's better than dessert. Inhale, lower. Draw your arms down. Exhale, lift, pull them up. Last five. Four, three, two. Hold your curtsy, arms out to the side. Bicep curl. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, curl your arms all the way in. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, curl. Inhale, straighten, exhale, curl. So here's your bicep curl. To really get something out of this, you have to put in a little extra work. Grab a fist so your whole arm feels engaged. Now pull your fist all the way in so tight. Imagine that you're like got coal or whatever makes diamonds. Yeah, it's coal, right? Right here in your elbow and squeeze it so hard that you can make a diamond. When you do that, you'll feel your biceps start to work here. It can be hard to get your biceps without weights, but all the push-ups, the body weight exercise that we do, it targets your biceps too. But right here, we get a little extra. It's a squeeze. Last three, before we add the legs, in two, and one. Inhale, lower, exhale, squeeze. Lower, squeeze, lower, squeeze. Woo. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just looked at the clock. We're going a little long. We're gonna go a little bit over 45 minutes. It's okay, we can do this. Last five. Yes, it's cold. Last four. Last three, two, hold it low, pulse. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, you're making diamonds in your biceps, I see them. They're sparkling. Stay with me. Squeeze, pulse down, pulse down, pulse down. Last five, Woo. last four. Stay in it for three, two, and one, jumping jack, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Woo! You can take this moment to like really shake it out. It feels good if your arms are starting to get tired. If your arms are still feeling really good, then again, you're here in pudding. Drive up, pull down. Drive up, 
pull down even for your jumping jacks. That's how you get more out of the exercises that you've done a lot of times. Woo, you add your own resistance here. It's up to you. Last five. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. You know what's next because we haven't done it yet. It's the other side for your legs. Left foot down this time, halfway up your mat. Bring your right foot back to touch the wall, then sink into it. Remember, you've got weight in your back foot. Then straighten your front leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, up. Woo! So both sides of your legs have already worked now. They already did that whole curtsy lunge thing on both sides. So I know your legs are tired, but there's not a lot, a lot left after this. We're almost done. You can do this. Bend, that's a fondue. Bend on one leg, sink lower, straighten, squeeze your glutes, press through your heel. Ooh, last five. Last four. Last three, two, hold it low. Bend and straighten your back leg. Inhale, sink your hips back towards your heel. Exhale, press out. Inhale, sink back. Exhale, press out. Notice how my body here stays in the same shape on my left leg and in my torso. It's just your right leg that does the bend and straighten. Sink your hips back. Sometimes there's a moment there where you kind of lose control. It's like you're following your hips back towards your heel, but then you catch it and you press away. So remember what we did on the first side. Yes, sink lower in your left leg. I know you started to straighten your left leg right there. We all did. All 16 of us that are doing this, unless some of you guys are just watching it, which no judgment, I've done that. I've just sat and watched these classes. So if you're watching it, it's okay but you gotta get up and try this. Let's do it. Bend and straighten your back leg. Last five. Last four. Three, two, hold it low. Fire hydrate your right leg. Exhale, lift to the side. Inhale, lower. Squish the bug into the wall. Inhale, lower. Fire hydrate, lift and lower. Squeeze, lower. Again, from the front, it looks like this. Lift, lower, lift, lower. It's a small movement. It's all about feeling it in your booty, right in there. It's not about how big it is. I don't care how big it is. I don't care if you can't even see it with your eyes, as long as you can feel it right there in your boots. Last five. Last four. Whew. Last three. Two. Sink lower in your front leg. Releve. Exhale, lift onto your toes. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. That's a big balance challenge. Stay with it. Last five. Ooh, sink lower into your front leg. Last four. Ooh, last three. Last two. Last one. Nice job. Let's turn around toward the wall. Take a moment to kind of shake it out. All the hard work is done. Find a quick wall stretch. It's like downward facing dog at the wall. Press your hands in. Allow your chest to sink low. Yeah, one more deep breath in here. Exhale, let it out. Inhale. Exhale, sink down onto your seats. Oh, the hard work is over. Bring your left hip up toward the wall. So you can find legs up the wall. Then just kind of roll up, legs up the wall right here. Find a butterfly stretch. Bring your soles of your feet together. Allow your knees to spread out wide. You can sink your heels back in towards your hips as much as feels good. It doesn't have to be a lot. Ooh. Maybe you push into your thighs, not your knees, but your thighs, just a little bit to get a little more sensation. You can take a little wiggle here if that feels good for your low back. Ooh. Alrighty, stay for an exhale. Inhale, extend your legs back up the wall. You can move your hips a little bit away if you need more space. Cross your right ankle over your left knee and 
let your left heel drag down toward your glutes for a quad, not a quad stretch, a glute stretch. Whew. Figure four is my favorite thing to do after bar. It always feels so good. You worked your glutes really hard today. So pull your knee in towards your chest just a little more, as much as you need to really feel that stretch. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, send your legs over to the left for a different kind of supine twist here. Figure four supine twist. This is a little bit less of a twist than what you may have done at the beginning of flex, but because you're in this figure four shape, it stretches into the outside of your right leg. A little more IT band action there. Stay for one more exhale. Inhale, bring your legs back up to center. Take figure four on the other side. Bring your left ankle over your right knee. Drag your right heel down towards your booty. A little rock side to side here might feel good. Maybe you notice that you're still a little close to the wall or this side feels different and you want a little more space. That's great. You're here just for one more inhale. Exhale, send your leg over to the right. Continue to breathe here. One of my favorite things about getting to my mat and getting a little bit of a sweat on is that it's a distraction from everything else that's going on in your life. So take a moment here just to be grateful to have nothing else to think about but that bar class for 45 minutes. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, bring your knees back up to center. Pull them in tight. Give yourself a squeeze, a hug. Thank yourself for doing all that hard work. And exhale, legs up the wall for Shavasana here. Allow your feet just to relax against the wall. Your hands can go wherever it's comfortable. I'll bring you out in just a moment. to invite breath and movement back into your body. You can start small just with the rise and fall of your chest with the air in your lungs. As you're ready, that breath inspires movement in your body, in your fingers, your toes, your wrists, your ankles, your head, your neck, your face. When you are ready for it, reach your arms up overhead. We'll end it here and legs up the wall. Take a big, long body stretch. Inhale. Exhale, pull your hands together at heart center. Thank you guys so much for making it out to your mats today, for taking this time to do bar at home, to stay moving and breathing. The light and the strength in me is so honored by your light and by the strength in each and every one of you. We honor each other in this practice when we say namaste. Namaste. Round of applause for you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.